So just a few hours ago, Sledgehammer released a patch addressing some bugs in the game relating to camo unlocks and other stuff, but I just checked and some of them are still in the game. So let's run through some of the workarounds that I know, and if there are any others that I didn't mention that you do know of, then please comment them down below as it could really help someone out. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jukes, and let's jump right into it. So first we have the knife challenge where it says, get 30 kills while an enemy is stunned or flashed. As you can see, I stun an enemy, get the kill with a knife, back out, and it's not working. So the reason it's not working is because what you actually have to do is get a kill while you yourself are stunned and then it should track. If you're curious whether or not it's actually tracking in game, if you see the shake it off prompt like I have on the screen right now, that's gonna mean that that kill did track, as you can see. The ride shield also has that challenge too, and you have to do the same method for it to progress and it'll work. Honestly, I would just wait until they fix it though instead of going through all the trouble that this would be to do. Some reticles are bugged and when you put them on it makes your gun the STG by default in multiplayer and if you try them in zombies you just get no gun. So if this happens to you just change the sight on your gun. You don't have to leave the game to fix it. With the three line rifle there's also a couple. So with the snowstorm blueprint in zombies your guy will reload invisible bullets. They'll still work but with the 20 round mag you'll only get five bullets and if you use that attack that attachment will not count as being equipped so it won't count for the seven attachment challenge in zombies to track so definitely just avoid that blueprint for now additionally with the three line rifle if you look at the last camo challenge it says to have these attachments along with the vital proficiency equipped and then it says to get headshots with them but if you look i have my gun maxed out and there's no vital proficiency there so the fix to this is to put on the hard scope proficiency instead. As you can see, I put it on, I get a headshot, go back to the lobby, and now it's tracking. I believe there were similar issues to this with the automation and one of the LMGs, but I don't have those maxed out yet, and I don't know if they fixed those. But if they haven't fixed them and you know a fix for them, then definitely let me know. For MK11 long shots, which is basically this year's version of the thumper, they are impossible right now. No matter how far you go, there's just no headshot reward for that launcher programmed in. So that's on Sledgehammer to fix that one, but when they do, the distance for them, if you're curious, should be 40 meters if they follow what the standard was for long shots for the thumper in Cold War. For the Panzerfaust launcher, I think that the rocket itself is exploding when it gets to a certain height on the map, but UAVs are flying above that height, so the missile is exploding before it can even get there. And yes, before someone says it, I know on the screen right now I'm not shooting at UAVs. I know that's part of the map, but I'm just trying to show that the rocket is exploding kind of early. As you can see, even if I shoot it in a straight line, it just explodes by itself. Sometimes, depending on the map, you know, UAVs might be flying lower, so people have been able to shoot it down now and then, but I would suggest trying to go for counter UAVs because they do fly lower and will be easier to hit with the Panzerfaust. Now, if this video helped, don't forget to subscribe because I'll be covering Vanguard all year and going over stuff like this whenever I find them. I hope this video helped you out, and I'll catch you all in the next one.